Hi, in this video we're going to look at question 1H from the Oxford Maths Admissions Test from 2018. So we've got two triangles S and T inscribed in a circle, uh, as shown in this diagram. It says that the area of capital S is little s and the area of capital T is, is, is little t. Uh, and uh, we've got that the air is small s, the area of the triangle S is smaller than the area of the triangle T. And we want to know what's the smallest value that this expression 4s squared plus t squared over 5 times st can take is. And um, not a, really obvious at the outset uh, how to deal with this, so um, I think when you get an expression, uh, you know, you can you think about the algebra, you think about the errors here a little bit, but I also just want to think about this algebraic expression. I wonder if there's an easier way that, that I can rewrite this. Um, so uh, I've got a sum of two things in the denominator here, so if we consider these as uh, separated, so 4s squared over 5st plus t squared over 5st, the structure starts to reveal itself because I can cancel an s in the first one, so I get 4 fifths here times uh, s divided by t, and in the second one here, I cancel a t, and I get uh, 1 fifth times t over s. So uh, so this is just, well, we've got a 1 fifth everywhere. And let's say I wrote x equals s over t, then 1 over x would be t over s. So I could write this expression in terms of this ratio between the smaller and the larger triangle. So I've got one fifth times four uh, x plus one over x. So actually, I'm going to see now if I can find the minimum value of of this expression, just four x plus one over x. Doesn't matter if you times it by a fifth; it will be the same value of x that minimizes it. Um, and then we'll think about how to interpret this. So d by dx of 4x plus 1 over x, so that's d by dx of 4x plus x to the minus 1, so I get 4 minus x to the minus 2, so 4 minus 1 over x squared, and I would want to set that equal to 0, uh, so uh, 1 over x squared is equal to 4, so uh, I've got here that x must be uh, one half, I suppose, plus or minus, uh, plus or minus one half here, uh, just purely algebraically. Now, um, let's so let's think about whether these could be sensible values of uh, of this ratio. So, firstly, I think if I'm interpreting x as a ratio of areas of the triangles here, it's, I'm going to have to be thinking now of the the positive version. So, I'm just going to think in terms of x equals plus one half. And, uh, okay, maybe I should check that I do actually get a, a minimum at this value by uh, finding the second derivative. I'm, I might not do this if I was under time pressure in the, in the exam, but, you know, the second, uh, the second derivative here uh, is just going to be, uh, so I've got minus x to the minus two, so that's going to be uh, plus 2x to the minus 3, so 2 times 1 over x cubed, the positive value of x, that is positive, so this would give us a, a minimum as we hoped. You might also just think about what this graph looks like quickly. Um, so this is a minimum uh, for, the, for the function that we're looking at, and so the question is, can I actually find a ratio s over t that gives us this minimum for x, because if I can, then that must also be the minimum of this expressions for the area. Right now, if I couldn't find the ratio that leads to x equals one half, I've got a bigger problem. But really, you know, once I've written the function in this way, uh, I've got a minimum for this x. So uh, so it's just a, really a question of, is it possible to find uh, s over t uh, in that ratio? Now, if I think about the diagram, can I make s over t uh, equal one half? Well, we know that s is meant to be the smaller area. So uh, seems reasonable, and I think you know you can really see here that if I just move uh, this 
line here uh, in, in this direction I'm gonna get s having a smaller uh, you know it's being very small compared to t and if I move uh, s in, in this direction at some point I'm gonna get to the point where the areas are equal and s has to be smaller than t so so uh, that would be as far as I would go and really I can move this and well, as I'm moving this line that ratio is going to vary continuously uh, as I just increase the proportion uh, for s so I'm pretty confident here without doing any really formal mathematics that I can find uh, you know s and t that gives me uh, gives me uh, x equals one half so what would the value of this function be in that case well this uh, as I've written x equals s over t is just one fifth of four times x plus one over x so four times one half plus two so it's one fifth times two plus two which gives me uh, an answer of four fifths and that's one of the options there c so you know I'm implying a little bit of intuition here about the continuity uh, to be really to really convince myself that it's right but I think in the in the context of an exam you would um, you know you know maybe you wouldn't in, in, in limited time check every detail here but you could certainly uh, convince yourself that this sort of argument uh, is going to work as we get through the short answer questions here we can see that they're still not meant to involve you know huge amounts of calculation here there are still short answer questions but the uh, interpretation is and the uh, logic is getting a little more challenging but it's not meant to be easy uh, to get into these universities so I hope that was useful let me know in the comments if you've got another way of thinking about this question I bet this one has some uh, some other ways you can do it as well um, and uh, I will see you in the next video everything here is going into a playlist so uh, within the next couple of weeks hopefully the whole paper will be there uh, so you can look up any that you are stuck on